Hi, can I please have a medium latte with oat milk? Latte with oat milk, okay. Yep, that's everything. Okay, drop it up. Thank you. Okay, I lost that silicone holder where I would put my camera in on my dashboard, so you guys are behind my steering wheel now, but good morning. I haven't vlogged in a while. Feels kind of, I feel kind of rusty, but it's Tuesday, November 23rd, 8.55. I just finished with my F45 class. It was so good. We're in like a new phase of workouts. I think this is the second week and Tuesday's class is GOAT, greatest of all time. And it's literally so fun, but my arms feel like noodles. I'm at Tim Hortons right now and I'm getting a latte because they have oat milk now. I've literally been waiting for this. Okay, no, that sounds very dramatic. I've just been wanting them to get oat milk because I do like Tim's coffee, but I just would always go to Starbucks because they have lattes and I like lattes, but I like oat milk. Does this make sense? They have oat milk now, so I'm very excited. And it's only $2. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You guys, have a Tim Hortons. Please try it. It's actually so good. I was really impressed by it, but I just wanted to update you guys and oh my God. <laughs> I was about to drive over a curb, but it's okay. Um, I'll see you guys at home because I'm doing manic right now. I have an addiction to this oatmeal. You guys know. I actually have it every day. Okay, hi. It's a little bit later. It is 10.51. And I have the Crest white strips on. It's just the 30 minute one, not the one hour express. I've actually noticed a really big difference. I've been doing it for about a week. I think I'm halfway done the pack, but in order to see the full results, you have to do the full thing. I've just found that it's honestly made my teeth sensitive. It's not really bad, but I definitely notice a difference. Um, but my teeth are a lot whiter, so. Jeez, pain. I'm just about to do my makeup. I'm meeting my friend for coffee at 12. It's 10 51, 52. So I have over an hour. I technically like don't really need to put makeup on, but I just want to. And I think I'm gonna do my hair too, because why not? I wanna listen to music. So I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse. I'm really excited to do it. I got this like brown pencil liner from MAC the other day. And I saw someone on TikTok use it to like flip out their eyes and i think it will look nice with my light eyes i'll have the playlist that i'm listening to linked down below i don't know what it is i'm just like very obsessed with rap right now <laughs> it's like all i listen to i'll also have this link down below if you guys are interested i think you can get it on amazon basically just did my everyday makeup routine subtract the tinted moisturizer I just did like concealer and cream products and i used the brown liner i feel like you can definitely notice a difference it just makes it like flick out a little bit more i definitely am not that good at it but i think it looks fine and i'm about to curl my hair honestly i've been trying to use my dyson just once a week like once you get a dyson you can't go back because now i actually hate my hair natural and it just looks like shit compared to what it could look like but i need to like think about my hair health you know you guys may think this looks good but i just really don't so i'm going to curl my hair i have not used my wand in a very long time probably months because of my Dyson. I'm gonna spray some dry shampoo. I'm gonna put you guys on another time lapse because I just need to listen to music. I'm just like doing some light beach waves. You guys will see, it's very easy.
thought I would show you my little outfit. I just have on this Princess Polly black ribbed long sleeve, my Lululine leggings, and then TNA crew socks. I'm oh, and I'm going to throw on a chocolate brown puffer, but I gotta go because I'm meeting her in less than 10 minutes. Change of plans. She has something come up last minute. We might still go. I'm just waiting to see what she says, but I don't have to leave right now. So I thought I would unbox my little Zara package. I ordered this literally yesterday. Zara's shipping is so fast. I love it. So yeah, so it's just like a cream white button up. I got it in a size small. Honestly, probably could have done extra small, but I think it's meant to be oversized. But I think this would be cute for like a dinner or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it on after with like a nude bra and see how it looks. But yeah, I think it would be cute with some jeans tucked in. Do you guys get the vibe? Do you guys get the vision? Just got done at coffee. It was really good. I just got a tall sugar cookie oat latte. I had that one from Tim's earlier. It's so bad. I'm drinking so many coffees. I need to like relax because my tolerance is so high. It's 1.32 right now and I think I'm going to go to Value Village because I want to look for a tray to put my perfumes on just because I have them sitting with my jewelry stand and I just want something more cute, more mature. I was there yesterday and I should have looked, but that's okay, we're going back. And I might look around a bit, who knows. I didn't have any luck with the trays. There's just a lot of seasonal stuff and then there was metal trays and wooden trays. It's just not really what I'm looking for, so. I'm going to look online and then if I find anything, I will update you guys. But I have some Amazon packages that I'm going to unbox. One of them is kind of extreme. One of you guys recommended this certain almond milk to me and I went around looking for it. I went to Shoppers, Metro and Superstore and nowhere had it. So I found it on Amazon, but it only came in a pack of six. God. Week. Silk Barista Almond Milk. So it's specifically for coffee. I'm so excited to try this. I will not be using it today because I've already had two coffees, but I will definitely update you guys with how I like it. I'm very excited to try it. It's not flavored, so it's just plain. It's just what I was looking for. So this is gonna make it really easy for frothing. And like I said, I got six of them. So I don't really know where I'm going to store these. I think maybe... I can fit one under here. And then I'm gonna have to put the rest of these with my Nespresso stuff. And then I got something else from Amazon. I just thought I would open it up down here. So that way I can throw out the garbage. This is very random, but I got a tongue scraper. My brother is obsessed with this and he swears by it. And Lauren from The Skinny Confidential talked about it in one of her podcasts. So I thought I would give it a go. Dual action tongue cleaner. Okay, so I just tried on the top from Zara. I just don't really know how I feel about it. It's very long. I feel like I definitely could have gotten an extra small. And I also don't know how I feel about the buttons. They're kind of like holographic, if that makes sense. They're like colorful, which... I don't particularly like. I don't think you can see my bra through, which is good, but I think I would like wear it tucked in like this. I don't know, but with jeans. I just think that it's too big. So I honestly think I'm gonna return it because I'm not obsessed with it. It is very comfortable though, but maybe I'll keep looking for a top like this, but this isn't the one. Okay, I forgot my camera upstairs, but I just made a grilled wrap. We have this like French press. I think that's what it's called. And I just put some chicken, red onion, lettuce, cheese, and plum sauce. I don't know. It's so good. My mom used to make it for us as kids. And I just got some cucumber. That's my lunch for today. And I'm just going to watch some YouTube videos. Very exciting stuff, guys. 
here's the situation that I got going on with my perfume. Pretty sure one of them fell <laughs> in the back. Yeah, when I was getting ready. I remember. As you can see, the collection is growing and I asked for a jewelry box from Missouri for Christmas from my parents. I know I'm getting it because my mom had me order it because of the Black Friday sale. So I kind of want to like fix up this area. That's why I was looking for a tray in Value Village. Also ignore my weed. <laughs> I was playing it all the weekend. It's very fun. I'm thinking like I have so many knickknacks that I just buy from the thrift store for no reason so i'm thinking this one i don't know though because it is pretty tiny i have a bigger version in my bathroom of this because it actually has a lid to this it's the one that i have on my side table over here but i have the bigger version in my bathroom but i could always just take the lid off and then use that Okay, yeah, there's literally no way these are all gonna fit. Okay, this one is way bigger. That actually fits perfectly. I'm very happy with that. Obviously, if I get more perfumes, I'm gonna have to get a bigger tray, but this works for now. I don't know what I want to do with this weed. It just looks so weird there, so I think I'm gonna unplug it and then just like keep it in my closet and then I can <laughs> plug it in whenever I feel like playing it. Cute. I think it will look a lot better when I have my jewelry box there and then I can like move and just like redecorate everything because I'm just over that. <laughs> Good morning! I thought I would also vlog today because I didn't really get that much footage yesterday. I go through phases where I'm really good at vlogging and then others I suck. And honestly, it's hard to vlog when I don't have anything going on. But, good morning. I just made my Nespresso coffee. This is a new pod. It's one of their seasonal ones for Christmas. It's the gingerbread one. I've had it a few times, but honestly, it doesn't taste like gingerbread. It, like, I just taste the coffee. It's kind of upsetting. Like, the pumpkin one, you could definitely taste it, and it was really good. So, I'm kind of disappointed by this one. I don't know if maybe the oat milk was too overpowering, but I used the Silk Almond Barista almond milk, and... It frothed amazingly and it's not curdling, which is what happened when I used the original Silk Almond, not the Barista Edition. It is like falling, but that's normal. I also put some cinnamon on top. Thought we would do a little taste test. We don't want to take a photo of it. Mm. Cheers. It's really good. It just doesn't taste like gingerbread. Honestly, guys, my life lately has been just very boring. I'm kind of in a funk right now i'm just like really uninspired i don't have a lot of video ideas i just asked you guys on my instagram i was on a roll for a really long time that's usually how it goes with me i'm on a roll for like a month maybe over a month and then i'm like struggling for a week and then i get back into routine but that's normal with people's creativity it happens in waves it's just frustrating when i need to be on top of the ball three days a week every week hi besties it's a few hours later it's just after 11 and i just got ready and dressed for the day i'm about to go out thrifting again because i've picked up a few pieces and i think i want to get a few more and i think i'm going to film a thrift haul so i'm going to go to a different location though just because i always go to the one near me and i want to go to a different value village one that's in like a town over but I thought I would show you guys my little outfit. Baggy everything is my favorite outfit. I always feel so confident in it. So this is a sweater I thrifted. I'm literally obsessed with it and I want to wear it every single day. It's literally the perfect sweater. I'm obsessed with the gray and cream. Ugh. The brand is Modo. I'll try to link it. Something similar for you guys. And then I'm just wearing my Levi dad jeans. And then to tie in with the gray, we got the gray. 550s and I have my little black bag my Aritzia one and I think I'm just gonna throw on a leather jacket because it is like fucking freezing out But it's not like I'm gonna be sitting outside just something that's warm enough while I'm in the car and like walking in the store 
So let's go. For a t-shirt. Limited edition, let's do some simple edition. $50 for a t-shirt, that's just a ignorant Besties, we're here. I actually don't think I've ever been to this thrift store, but I'm kind of excited. It's the little things, you know? But I got my AirPods in, and we're gonna get on in there. <laughs> okay, bye. No, because I've never been happier. It's $9.99, guys. Guys, I just hit the motherfucking jackpot. I've never had a better day than this. I found a long coat that I was looking for, a fleece jacket that I was looking for, and something that wasn't even on my list, but I always look for at the thrift store is a film camera. I've been wanting one forever, and I found this for $10. I just looked on Etsy and this is selling for a hundred dollars. I was literally going to buy one within the next few weeks. It's in literally perfect condition. I am so happy right now. It's the Pentax IQ Zoom 115. It's a 35 millimeter point and shoot camera, which is literally exactly what I was looking for and it's selling for $100. Guys, I normally don't have luck at the thrift store. Like, I don't, this shit doesn't happen to me. Thank you, thrift god. Right now, my mission is to go find some film. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, guys, I have to tell you this because the story of how I found it, she was a literal angel sent from heaven. So, she was just, you know, stalking the floor and I was looking around the electronic area and I was like, if you guys were to have cameras, would it be just assorted in this electronic section? And she's like, yeah. And then I was like, okay. So I just started looking. And then I think she, there was like a language barrier because I don't think she really understood what I was saying. And she thought I was asking like where the store cameras are. So she was like, is this bitch trying to steal or something? Which obviously wasn't what I was asking. So then she's like, oh, like, are you asking about the store cameras or like a, a camera? I was like, a camera? She's like, oh, okay, like it's in the next aisle. And I was like, okay, thank you. And I started walking over and she was like, wait, 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 I just found one. And she comes running to me with the camera. And it was literally exactly what I wanted. I cannot believe that. I'm just so happy and I just love that girl. Oh, everyone is just so nice today. I love old people. They're so nice and helpful. I hope that's not offensive, but I genuinely just like really old people are so cute and the guy working who's helping me He was like, oh my god. I have so many of these Cameras I should sell them like yeah You could make a lot of money and like they helped me find the film and they got me a battery because I literally have no idea what I'm doing But I just got the Fuji film This is all I know they put it in for me because I didn't know how and then I have a backup one and it takes this battery i'm gonna keep this or take a photo of it so i don't ever forget but i'm so excited i think i'm gonna do a little bit of research to figure out how this works but it's set on 1987. that's crazy let's get into everything else that i picked up i'm not going to try it on just because you guys will see it in a full-on thrifting video that I am going to film over the weekend. So, like I said, I got that film camera. And it came with this little baggie. And it was $9.99. And then next I got a pair of denim. They were $10.49. These are men's as well. I just wanted to try another pair as well. I think these ones are a different size. So I'm going to have to see how they fit. I'm obviously going to have to get them taken in as well. But these ones were longer and more baggy, which is something that I was going for. So they're old navy and they're a men's 32. So they're like significantly bigger, but I'm going to have to get them taken in no matter what. But I love the wash and they're vintage old navy. Super fun and cute. Next, I got a fleece zip up. This is old navy as well. Women's size medium and it's $9.49. I really like the cream in blue. Super cute. This is going to be nice for layering. And then I got a quarter zip waffle knit thing going on. So this is men's Denver Hanes. And it's a size medium. $10.99. These type of 
shirts are very popular right now so this was something that i was looking for and i'm very happy that i found it it's like the perfect neutral cream lastly i got a what is this pattern called it's like houndstooth or something i believe long coat i don't really know the size it was oh it's the size medium okay and it was 27.99 which is very expensive thrift stores are just jacking up the prices this one i will put on but i'm not a fan of the really puffy shoulders but it is what it is i think this will be nice for layering it's super thick and because it is oversized i can put a bunch of layers underneath you guys can't really see but it is long it's just perfection i'm obsessed and the colors are everything i've been looking for a long coat like this for a while and i love the brown buttons i just finished up doing some work i was filming some tiktoks that i had to send over to be approved but i just checked the mail and i have a package from medlin i'm very excited to open this it's actually a subscriber's brand. They DM'd me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to pick one out and share it with you guys. And their hoodies look so good. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys. They have a few different colors, but they're all like oversized, really good quality and just plain, which is definitely more me because you can style it a bunch of different ways. So I believe they had like gray, orange, green, and blue. So I got the blue color. It's like a very nice navy blue. And I got it in a size medium. So I will obviously have it linked down below. But I just love when you guys tell me you have brands and like ask if I want to like share it because obviously I do. You guys support me, so I want to support you. But look how good this is, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so nice and thick. I'm very obsessed. I cannot wait to wear this. I honestly might put it on right now because it just looks so comfortable. 100% cotton hoodie with a hidden pocket. Like this is a very nice, like high quality hoodie. And I really like this cross detail, how there's no strings or anything. It makes it look very luxe. And this color is to die for. Very into blue right now, you guys know, so. Thank you. All right, guys, I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I am literally not doing anything for the rest of the day and I wanna start editing this so I can upload it and get it ready for upload on Friday. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in a few days.